Hey guys, so in this video we are going to be going over this tutorial right here which is how to get remote play working on a non-activated PS4 that is jailbroken with the exploit for 5.05, 4.55, or 4.05. And the post is on Reddit that we're following, but the original post comes from this uh, ps4.custom firmware.xyz. So you guys can check those out, links will be in the description. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. If you don't already know, we're going to be doing IDU mode uh, method and offline cast method with the exploit. So right now I'm in IDU mode. I'm going to go ahead and exit it by going to settings. And uh, if you haven't already run the hen exploit, you need to run it. Um, if you cannot run the exploit and you're in IDU mode, then you are more than likely stuck in it and have sort of bricked your console. Although you shouldn't have that issue or get into that position at all um, in any way. So anyways, run hen if you're in IDU mode and go ahead and exit. And as you may have no may have noticed already, I'm in remote play recording this. Um, this is because I already have it set up, but I'm going over how to set it up with you guys. And if it says not enough memory, go ahead and click OK and click on hen again. Once hen loads up, it'll say success. You can go back to the main screen, go to settings, go to debug settings at the bottom. And then you're going to click system, IDU mode, and you're going to select off. And once you select off, it's going to say it needs to reboot the system to reflect the setting. Click OK, and it will restart the PS4. Once the PS4 has restarted, we will um, continue on the steps. Okay, so for this part, we are going to rename our user. This is preparing our PS4 for uh, IDU mode. What you're going to do is you're going to disable your internet connection on your PS4, and you're going to... Uh, log into the user that you're doing this on and you're going to rename that user to user1. Um, the reason we're doing this is because uh, if we don't, our uh, PS4 will delete all the data that is on that user if you leave it not named user1. If you leave it the old school mod or whatever, it'll delete all the data on that account and we don't want that so uh, yeah that's why we're renaming it to user1 okay so on with the tutorial um, first of all we're going to need to cache our exploits offline and disable the network connection if you have not already just go to network settings and click on the uh, checkbox that says connect to network right there and once you've done that go ahead and load the exploit up Make sure you click on cache all, or you can click the little drop down menu next to 5.05 and click cache, and you'll be fine. After that, run disable updates, and once you run disable updates, make sure that you run hen. And once you run hen, you want to go all the way down to debug settings, and once you go to debug settings, you're going to go to system, and you're going to start IDU mode. So, as you just saw on my screen, I couldn't disable the network um, option. If something like that happens to you guys and you don't pay attention or you don't notice or somehow your internet's still connected while your PS4 is on but you did disable the updates with the exploit and you cached it offline and you run debug settings and you run uh, system IDU and turn it on, it's going to tell you to reboot your system and you reboot it and if you just so happen to have internet still while doing this, you're going to get the problem that I'm going to end up having uh, when we get back over to the PS4 and I show you how to get out of that problem it's when you get stuck in IDU mode I show you how to get uh, unstuck from IDU mode how to exit it how to use it to activate remote play and all that so this is all covered in this tutorial so I'll meet you guys back over at the PS4 uh, as you can see my PS4 is restarting right now it's gonna start up with IDU mode so I will meet you guys back over there with the camera Okay, so it's going to say you're in ID U mode and something about updating. Just ignore the updating part. Okay, see, so it says please wait, updating IDU. And it says cannot download. That's because I've already been in IDU, IDU mode before and I set some options already. So this is where it's going to get tricky. You're going to need to hold down R1, R2, L1, L2, 
D-pad up and options all at the same time. So, the reason I say it's going to be tricky is because I'm recording by myself, so it's going to be a little hard. Okay, and if your PS4 is stuck in IDU mode like so, it's okay. Just go ahead and Sorry, go ahead and um, turn the PS4 off and then back on. Okay, and then once it turns off and back on, we'll be fine. We can then move on to the next step. off, now it's back on. Okay, and once it comes back on, we're going to enter into a uh, staff mode. And we're going to do so by clicking on the um, proper button sequence. I'm going to try and Hold the camera up just right so you guys can see everything. See the screen. See my remote. Okay, so. PS4 is turned on. As you can see, nothing is on the screen. Turn your remote on. It's going to pop up that message up there. As always, and hold D-pad up. L1, R, L2, R1, R2, and options all at the same time. And then you're going to see staff mode activated right above um, the message in the top right. Staff mode activated. And then once staff mode has been activated, um, you just pretty much go to settings and go to... Uh, network and turn on your network and remote play and add the device and I'll show you guys how to do all this um, again back at the computer so I'll see you guys back at the PC okay guys so now that we're back at the PC I'm just gonna connect real quick and as you can see I am in IDU mode so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the network settings and we're going to click on connect to network then we're going to go to remote play settings and as you can see no debug settings are there yet don't click on enable remote play, click on connect directly with PS Vita slash PS TV. Then you're going to want to click on add a device. It's going to give you a code that you can register with manually, but I can't do it right now because I'm already using remote play to show you guys this. So I'm going to show you guys how to patch PC now. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up um, this web page. The link will be in the description. You can download from here any version of the older version of uh, remote play. Any one of these will do. and you can download and install it. Once you download and install it, just close out. Go ahead and run the patcher. You're going to have to get it from Mystery Dash. You can Google it or I'll have the link in the description to his GitHub Mystery Dash PS4 Remote Play Patcher. And you're going to see the first link GitHub Mystery Dash slash offline remote play. Go ahead and click on it and scroll down until you find automated, fully patched, um, fully automated patcher. And then once you do that, you're going to click on patcher.zip and open the zip. Extract them to a folder on your desktop or wherever you'd like. And you're going to have these files. Go ahead and run it. And it's giving me this error right here because I have already patched it. But um, it's going to ask you if you want to make a backup of the original EXE for remote play. 
click no then click on patch it and once you click patch it it will say success then you can close out of it and once you close out of it you should be good you can open up remote play and connect to your PS4 instantly you don't have to do anything else you just open it and click connect at uh, just as I do and as you can see I'm not signed in um, right now I'm not but if it does ask you to sign in just sign into your account and continue and it'll let you go on and um, it should just stop asking you to sign in after that one time and you just click start and it'll connect to your PS4 just like this and now that we've connected um, once we've connected for the first time in IDU mode we are done we linked our PS4's we can put it back in normal mode and continue to use it and um, everything will be working normal and perfectly fine as if it was supposed to uh, like on PS4 and on PS4's network so that's all guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video, if this helped out, please subscribe and like, and don't forget, um, you already know how to exit IDU mode, if you need to, go ahead and scroll back to the earlier part of the video to see how to do that, and I'll see you in the next one.